Movement is the, one of the most important things in Call of Duty. So today I'm going to be giving you guys the five pro player tips on how to perfect every single movement. There is a long list of drop shotting, jump shotting, dolphin diving, snaking, and even slide canceling or sliding. I'll be giving you the secret sauce on the last one so you don't want to miss it. Now let's get right into it. So movement gets more important every year and especially with Warzone 2 coming out, this is something you're going to want to perfect and get really good at. And as we go down the list, I'm going to be breaking them down to the T and help you guys get so much better. But to start off, we're going to be talking about the best movement in Modern Warfare 2, and that's going to be the jump shot. Now, jump shotting in this game is the new camera. It's the new peeker's advantage. In the previous games, it was a slide cancel, but sliding and slide canceling is not as good in this game. So what you're going to do is you don't want to jump shot a lot of gunfights, but how do we execute it perfectly? So there's three main tips when it comes to jump shotting. One, jump shotting around corners, something like this is going to be your best friend and that's how you're going to be able to camera people and get that peekers advantage and get kills like that versus good players so something i like to do is i always jump shot around corners especially when i'm anticipating an opponent because that's going to give me that peekers advantage just like that and it's going to allow you to get some crazy kills if you ever watch me live or watch me play you're going to see i do the jump shot frequently because it is the best movement to actually camera people you're like how do i counter campers how do i counter someone preaming me around a corner you do this you jump shot around the corner and get that first shot and even if they're in a head glitch or in a better spot you should still be able to get the kill but how do you jump shot even better well the secret sauce to the jump shot is you want to pre-aim mid-air so when you're jumping around a corner you don't want to jump then aim in you're 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 gonna be very slow and it's kind of defeating the purpose you don't want to do this and then aim in so the sauce to this is you want to jump and you want to land obviously like in the middle and as you're jumping mid-air you pre-aim in the air so you, it's going to look like this so by the time you're already around the corner you're ready to shoot at your target so it's going to look like this so as you can see as soon as i jump around a corner my line of sight is already on my target and all i have to do is shoot to get the kill now this is a very important part when it comes to jump shotting and executing the jump shot perfectly not only do you do it around corners but you want to time it where you jump in and as you're jumping, you're basically being down your sights already. You're able to you're able to shoot just like this. And when you get better at the timings and when you get better at the smooth, you're going to start doing it very well. Another important thing to note when jump shotting is you want to jump shot mid gunfights. So, for example, like that, as you're shooting at someone, jump shotting mid air, and it's going to help you secure some kills that you probably normally wouldn't get. It's going to throw off their aim and obviously allow you to hit your shots a little bit easier. And I like to do this in a lot of gunfights. Uh, you see me like I, I jump shot like this. Sometimes I strafe, but then you can just jump shot and shoot. Now, that was the best movement in Modern Warfare 2, in my opinion. It is the new slide canceling in this game. But let's move on to the next thing, and it's going to be the drop shot. Now, in Modern Warfare 2, drop shotting isn't as good, but it's still effective. And there's a couple things to know. One, drop shotting normally is going to be kind of slow when you do it this way. So you can see it's kind of slow here but there's a way to insta drop shot and it might not look as crazy in my pov but it's going to be a straight flop to the floor so what you want to do is you want to auto attack sprint forward for a split second it's going to look like this and you're going to want to drop shot and as you can see it's going to be a quick drop shot let's let me show you uh, show it through my uh enemy's kill cam you saw that Blah! <laughs> So the kill cam was a perfect demonstration, but you basically what you want to do, you can tell the difference between this and this. So remember, tax sprint forward and then drop shot, aim and shoot. But you want to aim and shoot as you're dropping to the floor. And again, it goes with the jump shot, how you're ADSing midair. It's very similar. You want to pre-fire the, the aim and drop shot and start shooting. You don't want to wait till you're in the floor, then shoot. So what you want to do is you want to do the quick drop shot or even like a regular, even if you're doing a regular drop shot, you want to start as you're falling to the ground you want to ads and start shooting like that and it's going to get you some crazy kills i've got some crazy clips doing this this drop shot is absolutely insane it'll throw off your opponent because it's so fast and like i said in your pov it may not look as crazy but trust me that that flop to the floor is absolutely insane one last thing to know with the drop shot this is a very good technique is drop shotting around corners like this now this is a technique even the pro players do and it's so effective because they expect you to be high or in the middle but you drop low and you got to time it correctly though this is a, this is the important part you got to do it in a way like that you got to do it in a way where as you're dropping to the floor you're automatically peeking them versus you going this and then going slowly so you gotta you gotta time it like this this is the perfect way to do it right there that exact way 
So anytime you're doing this around a corner, you got to give yourself some space and you kind of want to drop shot and you want to land. As soon as you fall completely to the floor, you want to land right at the edge of the wall, corner, whatever it is like that. And it's going to get you some crazy kills. This is another important factor of the drop shot. And it's something I use every day. Now let's move on to slide canceling or sliding in Modern Warfare 2. So there is a way to slide cancel or slide and challenge in Modern Warfare 2. You don't have to use the basic side slide. The basic slide is not as OP in this game. It's more used to evade. Like if you want to cross like this, but it's kind of slow, right? At that point, you might as well just dolphin dive across. But there is a way to slide and challenge like that. And the way to do it, a default way, is slide YY or slide triangle triangle or slide swap swap your weapon. And it's going to allow you to shoot mid slide and not only wait until your slide is done. And it's going to look like something like that. The more momentum you have or if you're kind of, you know, sliding down a slope, it's obviously going to allow you to slide fa uh, farther. But another thing to know, there's also another way to do it. And it's like that. And it's basically, it's just a little cheesy way, but... It's a little bit faster than the, than the regular slide slide, YY. But basically, it requires a Semtex and you pulling it back in. So it's going to look like that. And you can see, if, if you do it quick enough, you see the quick animation, and then you're able to shoot a little bit quicker than you would normally. And it's pretty damn nasty. And again, it's just pulling out your Semtex, bringing it back in, and sliding midair. So it's uh, sliding. So instead of doing slide YY, you're sliding Semtex out, putting it back in, shoot. And that's the best way to describe it. It takes a little bit of practice to get used to it, but this is another way to do it if you wanted to. One thing to know, there's a final way to slide now, and it's kind of new, and it's pretty efficient. You're going to slide towards one direction side, like forward. You're going to turn to the side, and you're going to move back to the opposite side. And you're basically going to cancel your slide. And it's going to look like that. So again, to demonstrate it and to kind of explain it, you're going to run forward, slide forward, but as you're sliding, as you're finally, as you slide, you turn to the side and you, and you go back to your opposite side. And it's basically going to cancel the slide and make it shorter. It, it requires a little bit of practice, but once you get the hang of it, you're able to kind of cancel that slide and you're going to be able to shoot right away. Now for the next important tip and all the pro players abuse this one. It's going to be called snaking. But in this game, they nerf snaking. Some of you guys probably heard of it. I wouldn't doubt it. But there's a secret and important thing that comes with snaking. So if you did not know, snaking is essentially going up and down behind cover and your enemy is pretty much not able to kill you. Uh, the best way to counter snaking, a quick tip, is to pre-fire. But even then, it's very hard for them to hit you and shoot you if you don't do it correctly. And then you can just challenge and do something like this. And it's very broken in Modern Warfare 2. It's one of the best mechanics to do. And all the pros do. I'm sure you even see this in Warzone sometimes. This is going to be viable in Warzone 2. The key note here is when you snake, you don't aim in. You don't. Because when you aim in, it's slow. Because a drop shot is slow. Yes, they nerf the they nerf snaking this way. They nerf the drop shot this way. So the key to snaking is kind of doing that fast drop shot, if you want to call it that as well. The key to snaking is you just snake. You just go. Which snaking? Let me explain real quickly for the people who don't know. Is you're auto attacking forward, sprinting forward, and you're proning, and you're just doing this, and you prone, and then you go backwards, and you just do this over again. You crowd, you prone, go backwards, you you fast forward, back forward, go back. Fast. You, you can see, you see, you see what I'm saying. It's not that hard. It's not that complicated to understand. Once you do it a couple of times, you'll probably get a hang of it. But the thing is to understand when you snake. You usually don't go for the shots or go for the kill unless you're ready to because you will be slowed down if you do it like this and you will get killed so you snake 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 you can even crouch up and down but this way it's like you're that's another way to do it just crouching up up and down up and down kind of like doing this but this is you're you're way more exposed you want to prone you want to do this and you don't challenge you don't challenge so you're ready and then you go for the laser for the next thing we're gonna be talking about is dolphin diving is it viable is it used of course it is pro players used it i've seen some of the best players in the world like shotzi do some crazy movement with dolphin diving dolphin diving it's not used for aggression it's used to maneuver and get to crazy get to places you shouldn't be able to get to if you just ran for example if i ran across this i'm probably dead but if I dolphin dive this, I'm good. That's a little bit of an example. Another example. If I jump out this window and run over there, I'm probably dead because it's a, such a it's such a long distance, right? But if I do this, whoo! If a guy's watching this mid tunnel and let's say he has a tight angle here to watch that cross, 
and I just dolphin dive across, he can't kill me. And that is why dolphin diving is actually viable and the pros use it. So app, when should I dolphin dive? Well, usually you should dolphin dive when you're in a sticky area, bad position, and you can't get out unless you dive. If you feel like you can't sprint across, if you feel like the gap's too big, if you feel like you're one shot and you trap, I'm one shot, I'm trapped here. A guy's preaming me right here from this spot. He's like, yo, I got you dead. If you move from there, I'm literally gonna shoot you one bullet, you're dead. This is a perfect time to be like, okay, hold up. And dolphin dive across. And a lot of the times, dolphin diving is going to work because it's a faster movement. It's a faster mechanic. I sometimes don't even kill the dolphin diver. And it's that's usually when you want to dolphin dive is to maneuver around and to kind of escape or get somewhere that you usually can't just by sprinting. Here is the extra sauce. Dolphin diving is still good to do other things. And it's still a viable movement. And you can kind of chain it with your movement. What do I mean by that? Well, for one, dolphin dive actually resets your tax sprint. So let's say you think your tax sprint is going to run out or it does run out. It runs out right here. I'm like, okay, I'm a dolphin dive uh, across. I still have my tax sprint. So you see how I'm chaining this dolphin dive with my movement. And then I can like dolphin dive here. Okay, I don't see nothing. I, I see like I'm able to continue the tax sprint. And this is how I chain my movement. Another example, I'm popping my dead silence. I think a guy's near me. I'm dolphin diving mid dead silence because I know I can't really do anything else. And then as soon as I, I dolphin dive, well, now I'm able to move again and I'm able to keep, continue to move. I reset my tax sprint. So again, I'm being like active with the dolphin dive. It's allowing me to kind of be more fluid in my movement. That's another example. Another example, you're sprinting. You're like, okay, I'm gonna pop this UAV. Mid UAV, you're dolphin diving. As soon as your UAV is pretty much called, you keep going. Auto attack sprint reset, boom. Your UAV is popped, you keep going. You Or you jump around cover, you're safe, you keep going. So this is just an example. Bonus tip, really quickly. Not only does a dolphin dive reset your attack sprint, another cheesy way to reset your attack sprint is by punching the air. So as soon as your automatic attack sprint ran out, your tactical sprint, punch the air, boom, keep running. Punch the air, boom, keep running. And this is another efficient way to do it. Another way as well to reset your tax sprint. It's a third way is the ADS way. I don't usually do this as much anymore. It does require you to have either automatic tactical sprint or a form of that. And you basically spam your ADS button every now and then and kind of pull up your gun. And it's, you're going to see it's kind of allowing me to sprint nonstop. And it's kind of cheesy, but it's actually pretty good. And it keeps your gun up. So take notes. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe. I am live on Twitch every day at twitch.tv slash apathy. So come by. Hope you guys all have a fantastic day. And don't forget to check out other videos. Peace.